Trojan Sports Now. After riding a six-game win streak, the women's basketball team fell to conference leader UALR. The team is looking to get back in the win column with this weekend's next matchup. The Trojans host Arkansas State over the weekend. This will be the first meeting for the two teams this season. Troy is currently ranked third in the Sun Belt, right below Arkansas State. The Red Wolves are 7-2 in conference play and have an overall record of 12-7. The Trojans are currently 6-2 in conference play and have an 11-6 overall record. When Troy and Arkansas State met last year, Troy took one win and the Red Wolves took the other. Arkansas State defeated Troy on the Red Wolves' home turf by a score of 74-65. The Trojans then defeated Arkansas State at, two, at Trojan Arena 83-65. And senior Courtney Coleman said the team is ready to put UALR behind them and ready for the next game. I am very excited about playing Arkansas State, mainly because unfortunately we dropped the ball against Little Rock last night. But um, basketball is one of those sports where you have to shake it off and keep playing. And we have to take the anger that we feel for not winning against Arkansas, uh, Little Rock and beat Arkansas. And I'm, I'm ready, and I think everyone else is too. The women take the court this weekend in Trojan Arena against Arkansas State. The men's basketball team will look to play against Arkansas State this weekend at home. The Trojans currently have a 7-10 record after their loss to ULR and have a conference record of 2-5. That loss puts the Trojans at number 10 in the conference. The Red Bulls currently have a record of 8-10 after their loss to Louisiana Lafayette last night. The Red Bulls also have a conference record of 3-5 and, and are just above Troy in the cell at number 9. Last season, Troy played Arkansas twice, with the Trojans winning the first match 90. 98 to 84. However, later on in the season, Troy played the Red Wolves to lose 73 to 83. However, this season, Troy is 5 and 3 at home, while Arkansas State is 5 and 4 away from home. Troy looks to regain some confidence this weekend when they play at home on Saturday. The track and field team will be headed back to Birmingham for another meet of the season. The women's team will be competing in UAB Sanford Multi and the UAB Vulcan Invite over the weekend. The women's team is coming off of a competition this past weekend at Chapel Hill where five different Trojans saw their own personal records fall. The team head back to, heads back to Birmingham once again, which is beneficial for the team because that is where the Indoor Conference Championship will be held. And head coach Mark Davis said his team is looking to continually improve throughout each tournament leading up to the championship. Going to UAB again. Um, it's, a, it's another uh, meet at the Crossplex. We're looking forward to it. Uh, there's going to be some good competition. There's some great competition there last time. So we're just looking to see how they go out there and develop week to week. Each week in track and field kind of builds on the next one. So, you know, like I said, keeping that rhythm going and, and getting them to compete hard, that's what we're looking to do. The team will compete at a two-day meet in Birmingham over the weekend. The men's tennis team will look to bounce back this week after this, their season opener in Florida against Florida, Florida State, and Florida A&M. Their children will play SMU and Abilene Christian in Dallas, Texas. SMU is 1-0 on the early season, and they beat UC Santa Barbara 6-1. This will be the first match for Abilene Christian of the season. However, last season the Wildcats finished with a record of 17-10. Top players such as Andy Lau, Daniel Bustamante, Austin Racine will face off Saturday as well. So far the Trojans are 1-2 on the season, losing to Florida and Florida State. The women's tennis team will also be getting back into the swing of things with their first tournament of the season. First, the team will head to DeLand, Florida to compete at Stetson University. This first match will be the start for both teams. Stetson la lost their last matchup of the fall season, but have pre previously won eight straight matches. Troy then will head to Orlando, Florida to take on UCF. Troy will take on UCF after the Knights take on Florida Gulf Coast. The last competition the Knights had competed completed the first and second single flights, UCF players came in second, while in the second doubles flight, the UCF team came in first. These two com competitions will be the start for the spring season for the women's tennis team. Troy University Athletic Department's plans for a north end zone expansion of Veterans Memorial Stadium got a financial boost Friday night thanks to some fans of the man who once led the Trojan football program. Football fans gathered to celebrate the career and legacy of former Trojan head football coach Larry Blakeney Friday at an appreciation gala held in his honor in Opelika. The gala was a fundraiser for Troy University's North End Zone project. Blakeney retired at the end of last season but says an event such as the gala shows him to think back about the good times at Troy. Some great, some great times and uh, coached a bunch of great people, have had a lot of great coaches uh, transition through our program and uh, that are out there still coaching and doing a great job. Some of them are actually back in Troy now coaching, so that's a good thing. And I'm, I'm really excited about tonight and uh, seeing so many 
so many faces that uh, bring back so many memories uh, from playing days and, and college days and, uh, and uh, looking forward to the evening. Blaney continues to work for Troy as a special assistant for the athletic director where he plans on assisting with fundraising projects for the athletic program. That's all the time we have for Trojan Sports Now. Check us out online at trojanvision.troy.edu to catch anything you miss. For Clay Yeager, I'm Amy Austin. Thanks for watching, and as always, Go, go Trojans! Trojans. Trojan Sports Now.